Oi, boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with the Dolphins, and it is another week with another player potentially about to face time on the sidelines. This time it's a young bull, Franklin Bele. Let's go ahead and uh, take a geese, shall we? So we're gonna dispute it, of course. Zero to two matches, hopefully zero. But knowing this game, it'll be Franklin Bele on the sidelines for one match. So as for Bele's replacement on the bench, our boy Jermaine Tawnor Brown slides right back into the side. I don't really like Corey Oates coming off the bench for us, so we're going to give, uh, what's his face, Paul Turner. Give him a go. We'll chuck him in the 14. Lawton will be a replacement back rower. Turner will actually be playing a similar role to Lawton, so let's see how this plays out. So we are back at home, and on screen, I'll chuck up the ladder real quick. We are on top of the league as well, with four big dubs in a row. We are accompanied in the top four by the Seagulls, the Panthers, and the Bulldogs. As for our opponents, the Warriors, they are 14th, three losses in a row. But as we know, in this game, you cannot count anyone out. Like how many times have we seen, or how many times have we actually played against these lower ranked teams and they've turned up like a, a top four side. And last but not least, shout out to the gang if you're watching this right now. Be sure to hit up that comment section with the hashtag odd squad. And if you're enjoying the content as of late, run it straight at that like button. Can we make it five in a row? These past few games have been pretty competitive. It's been good fun. Warriors ranked 14th, but as we know, or as history will say, uh, we kind of struggle against these struggling teams. It's just uh, one of those things with Rugby League R4. I'm going to try and change that up in this game though. Try and put a curtain on the Warriors here. As former Warrior Tohu Harris will get pulled up. That's fourth, still inside the 30. As we look for KP, there he is. Support back on the inside, doesn't get the pass off to Stags. Speaking of, how good was Stags this past weekend, man? The game plan was pretty simple for the Broncos. Reynolds getting Stags early ball, giving him plenty of space to move. And boy, did he move. Tohu Harris straight through the middle. Plenty of space. Papali'i looks for Harris to Vita, tries to break him open. Here we go. Touched by a warrior. Ooh, apparently knocked on by us. That's cruel. We put the head on and they end up making 20 meters off it. Beauty, double up on now 4 two to go, wingers coming in looking for work, as Tohu Harris makes yet another break, oh, we might find the playmakers linking, actually will take our chances of Harris Tavita, gets the offload away, trying to charge our way through Tohu Harris, how good would that be, two pass out to Harris, Oh no, no, not the stupid bug. We're looking for our playmakers. And they throw flat. 30 minutes gone, still no points. Switch is on. Actually wasn't standing wide enough. We've got Big Papa steaming onto it here. He needs to change himself, so. Let's go ahead and bring in our boy. Tom Noah Brown making his way back into the side. As we show it once with Grant. Cut around the fullback, Reese Walsh. Beautiful ball. Back into, oh, what? Did he drop that? There's no shot he drops that. It wasn't a drop, actually. It was a, first of all, it was a clean line break, but it came off a warrior backwards. That's unfortunate. Okay, so at the break, all I'm gonna say is, wow, four errors, one from five completions. It's been a bit of a struggle. I mean, we're making line breaks. We just can't, we just can't capitalize, but let's go ahead and take a look at the bench. All right, so I see a one percenter here. Bo Fermo, that's a straight swap for Kyle Lawton. We also have Paul Turner. He can slot in at hook, he can slot in at hooker for Harry Grant. And the front rows have already been changed. I might actually end up swapping Turner and Lawton once they take the field. All we need to do is line up their, their right winger. 
there we go as we skirt away from the fullback we had support on the left that's currently their weak link that young winger as we get a beautiful ball away poor turner finds cobo stags out of dummy half stags we'll take it struggling for points i run out of dummy half for stags why not easy kick to start the day with a trail mitchell bit, bit of a late start 50 minutes to get the first points the warriors boys are showing out though against their former team especially turner off the bench all right first set off points can we keep this momentum going as we said let here through the middle we will look for the inside ball play but we won't actually run it as we find Latrell Mitchell and he feeds it to Bailey Simonson this is where we should have been attacking all along that right edge inexperience on the wing this is our bad times for the Warriors back to back we go as we run the inside ball play we don't actually send it inside, it's a beautiful short ball to Latrell Mitchell. Sets him free, gets it away to Bailey Simonson. And how about that effort from Connor Watson? And there's about a good five meters between the two before he tries to dive. That's what you call phoning it in. Let's go, baby. Love that try right there. We're going to keep attacking that left side. Not immediately, obviously. We want to try and work our way down the field at least. As we get a beautiful ball, that should have been a drawing pass. Harris Tavita stepping up today as he gets pumped we have uh, Bud Sullivan in the pockets bit of wind might actually send this over for a 40-20 that is beautiful flat ball Taunor Brown here we go back to the left we go but they're numbered up nicely there We'll try one more flat ball. Oh, he gets in the road. We're going to continue with the Stags. Drawing pass into the corner. Salwin Kobo with the elaborate dive. Oh, no. Boys, we broke him. They did well to hang on for the uh, for the whole first half. But we tidied our errors up. And a bit of ad-lib play here. We just sent it wide to Kobo. This is the better of the few dive animations in the game. Bang. Who would have thought? A cheesy little try out of dummy half would set things off. As we bend it back around with Latrell Mitchell. That is 18 points to nil. I see the AI run that play so many times. But I can't actually do it myself. As we look to bat it back. We do. KP. Out to the wing. On the toe it goes. Oh my god. We almost scored a beauty right there. Oh, kill oh look at the look at the heart here by the young gun Reese Walsh so by the end of the match it ends up being a flawless second half we made no errors we missed minimal tackles and made some more line breaks and most importantly we scored points not gonna lie I was worried at half time thinking it'll be a low scoring game but after that first try the Warriors just switched off I won't say it was a great game because we were average in the first half it was uh, definitely a solid performance from our bench players though but yeah as always if you enjoyed that and would like to see more life for content or more content in general be sure to run a straight that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you for tuning in and i'll see you later